Here are the 25 best mods for Project Zomboid in June 2022. Day of the Lead. This mod introduces a crosshair that covers the mouse cursor and shrinks when standing still to indicate that your aim is stabilizing. Standing still for long enough will guarantee a successful hit. If you wait further, a third crosshair marker will appear, improving your critical hit chance. However, if you have no aiming skill, then it will take a long time to get a good shot off. As you improve, the delay gets shorter and shorter allowing you to take on larger amounts of zombies. Alternative Crosshair This mod adds a crosshair that shows how accurate your shots are. It features an ammo counter, five different crosshair options, accurate melee direction display, more loot settings. This mod adds custom loot options to the sandbox settings. You can modify the zombie load multiplier, the global chance of attached or lodged weapons on zombies, the chance of finding long blades or hunting knives on zombies, and much, much more. Be sure sure to check out the workshop page. It has a really in-depth description of everything you can tweak. Fencing kits. With this mod, you can construct fences via the metalworking context tab. You'll need a propane torch, welding mask, and metalwork knowledge for this. Sponges open jackets. This model lets you open any jacket in the game, which will reduce its protection from the elements, but lower insulation. This includes all types of jackets. Regular, leather, varsity, shell suit, suits, wedding jackets, coveralls and prisoner jumpsuits. Easy Corpse Move With this mod, you can move corpses easier. Just right-click and you'll see the Grab Jump Corpse Control button. If you are not carrying a corpse, the box will only be green where you can pick one up. When collecting or jumping corpses, the character will automatically walk to the location. You can press the sprint button to make it faster. Share annotations. This mod allows you to share your map annotations with anyone using any piece of paper, then trade or store them as a regular item. You can memorize annotated maps to your own map and even choose which set of annotations you'd like to see on your map. Lastly, you can easily forget any learned annotations if needed. Clean Ashes This mod allows you to clear ashes by having a broom or shovel in your inventory. Just right-click and then clear ashes. Legend Craft Melee Weapons This mod lets you combine weapon duplicates into stronger weapons with a hammer and some nails. There are five tiers of improvements that can be made. Each level can increase damage, reach, max condition, durability, crit chance and more. Extra Trait Effects This mod adds unique bonuses to several traits in the game. For example, Thick Skin lets you avoid tree-related injuries. Fast Reader reduces boredom and sadness while reading books. You can read an in-depth description of all the new bonuses in the mod's workshop page. 80s Kawasaki KZ-1000 Police This mod adds a KZ-1000 Police buy from the 80s TV show Chips. It includes Working Siren and Light Bar, three storage boxes in the back, 3D objects you can remove and place in the world, and helmet. 93 FJ75 Land Cruiser Pickup. This mod adds a new vehicle to the game with a fully animated hood, windows, doors, and trunk. It includes DIY craftable armor that covers the passengers and the engine, visible interiors and player models, Moodle fractions. This model displays how impactful a status effect is on the player by filling up the module with color. Keep that radio on. This mod allows you to unequip your radio without it automatically turning off when placed back on your belt or in webbing slots. This is meant to enable voice chat Hello? and text radio chats active while unequipped. Keep in mind that the radio will have to be manually turned off, even if placed in a bag. Random Zombies This model lets you customize how many zombies of each type appear in your game. To do this, go to the Random Zombies page during sandbox creation. Craftable Headgear This model adds cosmetic custom headgear that you can craft through the tailoring tab in the crafting menu. It adds 62 different headgears. Here are a few examples. Be sure to check them out. 10 years later, this mod adds vegetation to simulate the world after 10 years. It's heavily inspired by The Last of Us. There are a few different variations to choose from. No roof vegetation, no roof and interior vegetation, lower vegetation or all enabled. This pairs up really well with the mod barricaded world.
don't drink tap water. This mod contaminates piped water sources like sinks, tubs, toilets and showers. Most easily available sources of water have been tainted. The water levels have also been reduced to near empty. This pairs up really well with the mod 10 years later and barricaded world for a post-apocalyptic style run. RV Interior This mod simulates the interior of some of the vehicles from the Filibuster Rhymes Used Cars mod. Each vehicle has 25 fully customizable independent spaces. The power is tied to the car battery. The trailer needs to be attached to another vehicle to have power. Switch to a seat on the back to enter the interior. To exit, right-click on the ground and select the Exit Context Menu option. Armor International 4700 Truck This mod has a fully armored and animated SWAT truck. It features visible passengers, fully armored interior with run flat tires, removable parts with their own 3D models and item types, and great interior space. Ashenwood This mod has a small town called Ashenwood. Most of the buildings are custom-made for this map. It features residential houses, apartments, cabins, survivor hideouts, gas stations, grocery stores, and much, much more. Elysium Island. This mod adds a new map to the game that recreates certain locations from Disco Elysium, featuring the hostile cafeteria, the whirling in racks. It includes a spawn point there, a working in-game map, and foraging. Baltic, Kentucky. This mod has underground vaults in Louisville, Maldro, and Rosewood. To enter, right-click on the computer next to the elevator. It even features a few fallout easter eggs too. Anthem, Kentucky This mod adds a small suburban housing development in the forest northwest of Dixie, called Anthem. The town features a gas station, a grocery store, a strip of shops, and more. Rabbit Hush, Kentucky This mod adds a new river town called Rabbit Hush. It's a real-world location in Kentucky. The map features in-game map support, foraging zones, modern military vehicle spawn zones, a farm with several facilities, a general store, a variety of docks, and much more. Project Fallout Scientific Armory This mod adds the T-51 power armor from the Fallout game series. You can put on and wear the armor without training, but your agility will be limited. If you read the power armor training manual, your agility will be unaffected. Additionally, your strength will be increased. All items can only be found in military locations with rare spawn rates. If you'd like to be able to hold generators, be a ninja, or do this to your car, check this video for the top 25 best mods of May. Thank you for watching.